All right, you guys, here we are. It's Hendrum Community Park. Free campsite. Met up with uh, Brian Venture Van Man. We're hanging out. Just got the bikes out. Uh, met up and just, you know, started hanging out. Not a lot of filming. Uh, got the barbecue uh, repurposed. Turned it into a fire pit. Had a nice fire last night. Uh, we were getting the bikes out today and uh, I had some issues. I hosed it off because it was dirty and the connection for the kill switch actually got wet so it wasn't starting. And in the process, I broke my throttle. <laughs> So it started right up once I uh, cleaned that out, but now the uh, throttle doesn't work. So we're going to try ripping it apart and see what we can do. I actually need this to get to work with the beet harvest, so the timing is not so great. Going to see what we can do, though. Panda's here to help. Got Brian to help. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's a Tomos uh, dealership in Hendrum, Minnesota. No, yeah, I think we're on our own here. So it's the toolbox or nothing. All right, guys, this is what we're working with. I took it apart. You can see it's busted in there. Um, just kind of jammed up, and I twist it. You have to twist it all the way so it'll pop loose the the choke on it, and it was sticking because there's a bunch of gunk that got into, like, the race or whatever. So uh needed to come apart anyway to clean that out, but I'm not sure how to glue this back together. Not sure if I'm gonna be riding today, but hopefully I can at least fix it. So there we go. Yeah, the spring's kind of screwed up too. Always something with the moped. Check these out. Sinead made some sausage rolls. It's an Australian uh, English thing. Sausage and what's that? Puff pastry. Some Dijon. And traditionally served with tomato sauce. So we're gonna get down on some of these. Oh man. We're gonna dig in, Brian. I'm gonna eat them all. Mmm. Hell yeah, sausage roll. Another beautiful morning. We're uh, getting ready to pack up. Enjoyed our last night of freedom, hanging out with Brian, just catching up. It's really great, you know. The cameras just kind of sit on the wayside, and you know, it's a real authentic experience. You know, hanging out with Brian. He's an awesome guy. So great to run into him before we uh, start harvest. Uh, all the best of luck and safety uh, to Brian. The driving truck is not a, a safe cushy job so i uh, wish him a lot of luck with that i'm going back to the piling grounds we're about all packed up i managed to save the barbecue it's more of a fire pit now i lost a few parts so uh it's not 
going to be a propane grill anymore, but I had that thing for two years now. It was $19, so well used and uh, well lived. So, so we're going to say goodbye to Hendron Park. It was really great, super quiet. There's a little bit of road noise right there during the day, but small town Minnesota, it quiets right up. And people are real friendly, so real friendly state, real friendly beer too. I thought I was going to get Brian turned on to Grain Belt when we pulled up. And he's like, hey, man, have you heard about Grain Belt? Like, ah, damn, I was going to you know, convert you. But that's funny. So everyone knows. All right, guys, I'm going to head to Lindenwood Park and uh, get settled in for the next three weeks.